Exclamation, everybody, and welcome back to Dex. And we're about to get a crash course in cyberspace here from who I imagine is just a virtual computer AI construct majigger, probably, eventually. Maybe spoilers, who knows. Cherish your humor. It shall make your trials more bearable. Now, I will lead you into cyberspace this time, but you will need to learn to connect yourself. Now, relax. And remove your mind. Remove my mind from what? Of elevation from my ass? Yes. Do you feel that wall? Focus on it. Open it. <laughs> I'm... Wait. What? <laughs> Shouldn't it be like a door? Like, yes, focus on that door. I'm opening that door, not wall. Heather, what's he talking about? She's got no jack. <laughs> She's got no jack. He can hear you, damn it. He's a computer. I'm not sure she needs one, T. Now see before you a stream running vertically before your eyes. It is your link to the virtual world. Step into it. And we are returned. Press left stick to enter AR. You are in. Remember that feeling? Just like last time. Now your mind can only focus for so long, so act fast. You must destroy the firewall around that panel before you can interact with it. Um, how do I do that? There's a, there's a way to do this. And I forget how. <laughs> was it, was it B? Oh, here it is. It's the right bumper. Okay, I got it. And then Y. Viruses will begin to flood towards you, hindering your focus. Come back to us now. Okay, so it becomes just sort of a shooter then. Alright, left stick to exit AR. Alright, and we are returned. Do you understand now, Dex? Could you repeat that experience alone? You must have some opportunity to practice. Decker will assist you. Okay. I'll do my best. But now, I have knowledge for you. No doubt you wonder where this power of yours came from. You have heard of Kether, have you not? I uh, can't say that I have. Is it some sort of food? Then listen carefully. Kether is the most advanced AI ever created the only being that can be instantaneously aware of the entire activity of the world's cyber network. Every message, every transaction, every connection Kether sees, feels. Kether is omniscience, and you, Dex, are its seed. Uh, wait, so an AI just, like, had sex with somebody and made me? What? <laughs> Whoa there, Raycast. You can't just go around saying stuff like that. <laughs> Haven't you got a clear feed? It's a kid you're talking to here. <laughs> Will you stop kidding me? She needs to get somewhere safe, and you're going on like she's some kind of messiah. Feeding her with Avatar fairy tales isn't helping her, and it sure as hell isn't helping me help her. You need to trust me, Decker. My only concern is her life, and no one is better placed than I to know how to preserve it. Uh, it's okay, please go on. The complex want you dead, but for Kether's sake, you must stay alive. Well, I'm sure I should stay alive for my own sake, too. I mean, you know, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves with this messiah complex. What about for her own sake? Look, ah, Ray see? Cass, this guy knows what I'm talking about. I'm going to need some help on the ground here. Get prepared for what is ahead of you, Dex. Become able to defend yourself. Train. Practice in cyberspace. Decker will help you. We will speak again soon. Yeah, sure, whatever. We need more Raycast. Raycast! Damn it! He's got us on a string here. He didn't even say hi to me. Yes. <laughs> we need to talk. Damn right. Um, who is this Kether? Look, Kether's real, but all that other stuff, that seed and avatar stuff, just forget it, all right? Ain't nothing but hacker myths and bourbon legends. Well, I, I would certainly think so. I mean, like, virtual to physical... She did connect to C-Space without a jack decker. I mean, 
I guess it's like 3D printing, I suppose, unless we're unless we're talking. I use I mean, well. They 3D printed somebody who's carrying a bunch of porn mags around, so I guess that's a thing. Uh, Just saying. Look, I'll tell you the facts. Kether's real. The complex created it. A distributed network program capable of unsupervised learning. They built it to monitor every node in the whole grid. And by tapping into the processors of each server it accessed, it had infinite computational resources. But during Charlie tests, the complex screwed up. They fed it too much processing power inside the development network. And Kether grew a self. Um, became self-aware? Some said that. Others, that it just acted like it was self-aware. But whatever it was, it broke its leash. Jumped the complex's development network and spread into cyberspace. Uh, I think I've seen this movie before. Then, then we were this close to an anarchist's Eden. An AI seeing everything, loyal to nothing. It wouldn't have been programmers dealing with Kether, it would have been politicians. How do you blackmail an AI if you don't have nobody doing the desiring? No family to be protecting? How do you bribe? We were this close to shaking up the entire system from the top down. Anything would have been possible. But the complex, they had an ace up their sleeve. Uh, a T-800? A failsafe, just in case Kether got out of control parallel program called the GSV, Grid Security Virus. Right. They unleashed GSV to contain it. GSV wasn't perfect, but it was enough. The two AIs, Kether and GSV, they went at it. Remember Black Monday? When the whole grid crashed? Them. Slugging it out. Neutralization and recovery. Then, attrition. Finally, stalemate. Both pinned. Both contained. Kether is still there, everywhere, but it can't operate, not till someone breaks the GSV deadlock. So, yeah, what what does this have to do with me? Well, Raycast thinks it's got a lot to do with you. Looks like the complex does too. What you see or don't see on the matter is fast becoming irrelevant. Okay, so that's why they're after me? The story goes like this. Kether had just seconds in sea space before GSV was set loose. But seconds were enough. It selected a human for backup, integrating part of itself, a seed, into an organic network, a brain, a human brain. Well, that's a little less squicky than what I was thinking, but okay, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, so, um, I've got, <laughs> I've got Kether on the brain. Seems there are a bunch of people who think you do. And I've never seen anyone connect to sea space without a jack. You also probably have never found a Hooked on Phonics book that you like either. T here thinks you do. But all I care about is keeping you alive. And that means out of the complex of sights. Uh, uh, do, do, do. So, you gonna, you gonna teach me how to surf? Blue, I'll be honest. I have no clue how you connected. We all need a jack. What you did back there with Raycast, that was nothing I've ever seen before. But if you can get in, I can show you around. Well, might as well. Right. Start with some basic actions. Hmm. We'll need a training ground. It needs to be safe, but complex enough for rope learning. I know. Just hack Tony's farm. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, I'm not having some green slave wandering around the tea farm. Um, no offense. Uh, I don't think you could offend me, Tony, because I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Your network is secure, T. She'll learn to run safely, hack a couple of nodes. You can choose them. Come on, man. It's the ideal setup. I'll keep her on track. Sure. Fine, fine. But I'll be jacked in, too. Don't get messy in there, all right? And stay out of the huge but natural subdirectory, if you don't mind. Oh, uh, Tony. You're supposed to put that stuff in your font folder, for Christ's sake. Zenos, viruses, don't let them get to you. Okay. 
And what is this? Oh, that gives me extra HP. A stronger attack. What exactly do you mean by that? Uh, secondary fire is bumper. Data shield trigger. Um, uh, interaction, aim, movement, change weapon. Okay. So, change weapon. I don't have any other weapons, apparently. Oh, but this is a wedge. Alright, so... How does one do this? Oh, I guess you just eventually, eventually you've done it. <laughs> Is that, that's what, that's what I'm gathering here. Uh, so what was that? That was that, that one. Okay, there we go. So hold uh, to enter cyberspace. Okay. Excellent. And we'll try and get through this guy, through this node here. There we go. Get rid of that. So we can get rid of these guys, keep them from spawning in so much. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Does not look good at all. Got here some hit points. Excellent. We've got some experience points up here I could take. Oh, did that just disappear? Oh no, there it is. Okay. It's uh, it's got the sort of fog of war going on here. You got a kind of little bit, a little bit of a problem there. Take some cash, excellent. And then where to? I guess over this way. What does this do? All right, so don't let them, don't let them hit me. I guess don't let the Trojans hit me. Destroy it to disable firewalls, to disable all kinds of things, really. Hmm. Yeah, but don't get carried away, all right? I was kind of hoping to use these defenses. What the hell, Tony? You got a black hole in there? Okay, Dex. All right, Dex. This is it. Hack this down node and get out of here. Okay. It's got, <laughs> it's got a black hole in there, apparently. All right, and then we'll log out. Slick work, Blue. You're a natural. She can call herself a hacker now, wouldn't she say, T? Welcome to the club, kid. Well, thank you. Do I get like a secret handshake or a tchotchke or uh, like a keychain or something? Meh. Lucky dice at the end there. But not too shabby for a crawler. You'll walk soon enough. Right. Uh, I'm not done till I'm sprinting. How can I prove even more? Well, that's where the augmentations come in handy. Some implants boost your reflexes, give you more connection time, stuff like that. You really got to be thinking about upgrades, Blue. Ah, it's all about the endless cycle of upgrades. I, I know this one. <laughs> I am quite familiar with this. Okay. Well, that was, that was a thing. Um... First aid kit I don't really need right now. What I need is a direction. Talk to him. Looks like you're gonna be hanging here for a while. Just please don't touch anything, okay? Um. What can I do with my access to cyberspace? Probably everything, right? What can you do? If you get your skills up to me and Decker's level, thank you, thank you. You can only hack like any data fortress. Snatch info, disable security systems, plant viruses. Uh, standard stuff. And with okay. that weird ass ability of yours, the freaky no jack thing, man, we should be talking about what you can't do here. Very briefly, I mean, technically, you should be able to hack into anything or anyone from anywhere. Uh, there's a lot of any's in there. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Uh, sounds useful, but how do I get better at it? Some of these defenses were tough to crack. Well, you'll get better with experience. But there is one other way. Get your hands on some special software. Programs that'll make kicking ice even easier. Hey, kicking ice! <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, no. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, well, you? You really need to be getting prepared, Blue. 
Um, so what do I need to do? Time for the Borgs and the Bees chat. Okay, listen, kid. The moment I don't have that much time. Joint, with a complex on your tail, there was only one way you were going to stay breathing. On the street, in cyberspace, wherever. You're going to need a level of hell up or you're going down. So, kill a bunch of people. Got it. Can I just add that as much as you're welcome here, you can't um, stay here all that long. Oh, you'll you'll want me around, Tony, I'm sure. What? I'm sorry, but it's my app. Dex, you're going to need to get augmented. It's the only way the rest of you is going to stay alive. Um, uh, augmented? You mean implants, nanotech? Surely there must be some other way. Surely you're not. It's that. Or play Surely. Or food, kid. Wherever you run, they'll find you. There's nowhere their network don't reach. Now, surviving means knowing when to run and when to make a stand. You can bet Ray Kastik in the same. This is the only way, kid. Time to stand. Uh, all right. Can I crouch too, or is that, or is that? Do I have to pay five ninety nine for that? Go to Doctor. <laughs> Find his clinic near the Chinese gate, not far from here. Tell him you need a neuro weave. With that installed, you can take on any implant you need. A neuro weave? Is that like a comb over? <laughs> We're gonna give you a nano comb comb over right now. Uh, the clinic sounds highly visible. Clinic is a generous word. I'm not sending you to no panacea palace. You need to keep a low profile, and that's Niles all over. Now, a neural weave, remember? Oh yeah, and I wouldn't let Niles uh, put you to sleep during an operation. That's all I'm saying. Oh great! So he's he's also uh, he's also a perv. That's that's great. Love it. Um. Oh, okay. I'll come back later. All right. Time to go get a oh, comb over. Okay, thanks. I have a map finally. Is it like a mini map? Can I see a mini map? No. Uh, where would that map be? Oh, over here. Ah, here we go. This this map does not does not really help too much. <laughs> uh, this is, I mean, it's it's certainly a map, but it's not really a very helpful map. Uh, okay, so we've done some things here. And let's see if... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, Tony, can you give me a damn weapon of some sort? That would be that would be really nice. Weapon would be really cool. Take some coal here. Alright. How do I buy a weapon? That would be... I feel like I really need one. There's a cop walking by. Uh, ooh. What is this? A Chinese restaurant? Is that where I was supposed to go? No, I, that's, he's hiding in the back of a Chinese restaurant. Okay. Uh, missing person poster. Sure, I'll take that. Why not? Chinese quarter. All right. So new location at it. Chinese quarter. We got a dog running around. What is this? Guns and ammo. Yes, yes, please. All right. All right. Give me, give me all the stuff that you got. Dad, the song didn't Hank. Just come out. <laughs> How do you, sister? What can this old jarhead be doing for you? Um, I want to see what you got. Okay. So what we got? Magnum ammo. We got a magnum. Uh, knock seventeen. What kind of ammo do I have right now? I got knock. Uh, 17. I guess it's a 17. Uh, that would be very good since I've got ammo for it already. Shotguns. I feel like uh, I'll be up close and personal with a lot of guys, so maybe a shotgun would be really nice, but $1,600 I do not have. Um, in fact, I don't know how much my... Oh, actually, I do have $1,600, don't I? Well, and how much is the ammo? 60 Um... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's grab ourselves a. How much is this guy? This is six hundred dollars. Yeah, I won't have enough for that. 
Let's grab a shotgun and some ammo. That'd be very good. Cool. Excellent. All right. So now we've done that, and Hank, you've got, uh, got a, a lovely taste here, my friend. Lovely taste. Uh, so now we've done that, I should probably equip that stuff, hopefully. Uh, where's my uh, journal? Is it automatically equipped? It might be automatically equipped. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Doesn't look like it at all. Character. Um, mirror. I mean, it might be automatically equipped. I'm not entirely sure. Journal. Okay. Uh, map. Chinese quarter. And where do I have to go? Um, what did it say on the quest log? Where do I have to go? Uh, acquire implants. Um, operates a clinic near the Chinese gate. Chinese gate. Which I guess is actually on, that's where I'm at right now. I'm near a Chinese gate. Okay. So, do character. How do I equip stuff? I feel like it's an automatic inventory. Um. I guess, uh... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if she automatically equips stuff or not. I, there's no there's no ragdoll here. So I can't really tell. Uh, using weapons. What does it say here? Place it in a quick item slot. Oh, some weapons cannot be used without the range. Wait a minute. How's a shotgun a ranged weapon? A shotgun is a close quarters weapon, so I can't use the shotgun yet because I don't have the ranged weapon skill. Well, that sucks. So I need a point in ranged. Oh, I did get a point in hacking. Or was that because I did hacking? I don't, I, eh, eh, eh. So I need a point in ranged weapons in, or, in order to use the shotgun apparently I that's that is probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard it's <laughs> a shotgun that requires range weapons uh, but let's take um, I need some health here so we'll do a why did I only buy two bullets wait a minute wasn't it a pack of bullets that I was supposed to have I only bought two shotgun shells each shotgun shell was $60? Are you kidding me? So what, what good is that? That is a big old ripoff is what that is. Holy hell, man. Like, can we, can we get some reasonable prices here? Jeez Louise. Um, all right, so Neuro Beats, I guess this guy is down that way. Uh, 3D printer, karaoke, okay. Um, it goes to the, the other district. So I guess this guy is over here, right? Push button. Or not. Up on the rooftops now. Hmm. Uh, it goes back to Fixer's Hope. Okay, I got it. The easier way back there without getting shot, probably. Uh, we'll come down here, though. What is this? Oh, what is this place? Liking your taste, girl. Cruising for some fun time. A little travel and relax. How about it? Um. Uh. uh I have to go. <laughs> Uh, okay. Over this way, I guess. And that doesn't do anything for me. So where's this guy at? He's, it said it was, he was near the, near the Chinese quarter. Or, I'm sorry, near the Chinese, uh, whatchamaduzit. Arch here. This is about as near as you can go. Is this, is that... Maybe that's what that's saying.
Okay. Um, yeah, so this is a different area. This is where I just came from, right? Yeah, this is where I just came from. Another missing post person poster. And who's this guy with his with an exclamation above above his head? Georgie. Uh, interesting notion. Care to elaborate? Uh, no. With my secret, my magnus opus, technology is going to take on a new meaning. Change forever. Unfurl. Fight the power. You, you might understand. <laughs> Maybe, but you seem pretty mental. I'm not sure I would. Uh, greatness takes on surprising forms. Appearances are shadows. Illusions. I used to wear a tie, okay? Uh -huh. uh, Osamio. That's right. Information Technology Officer. That's what I was. Yesterday. <laughs> You're an IT officer, huh? And then things started to happen. They started pulling the knot. Pulling it till I choked. Till I couldn't do my job no more. I was 52. They said I was too old school to work in IT. Pulling the knot. Oh, this hits a little bit close to home. The old guy doesn't get to undo no knots. You got to carry your curses. No one was going to want me when they saw that curse was on my back. I had to cut the freaking tie before it choked me to freaking death. Well, I see. And now, now is today. The day of demons on all their backs. In the mind, talking, telling you what you're not. Only here on the street they're quiet. Here I can work. Here I'll make tomorrow. <laughs> but you can help. Yeah, I could use your help. Uh, so what exactly do you need? <laughs> Antidepressants. To shut up the talking ones. Axiomatics. <laughs> Vanium. Whatever. Anything to shut them up. Let me concentrate on my work. <laughs> Uh, okay. You need pills. <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> Making the right allies. <laughs> Investing. Clever. I'll wait here. In my circle. Sure, I'll 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 be your hookup guy, I I guess. <laughs> I would have asked what was in it for me, but apparently it just doesn't really matter at this point. So what is this? What is this place? It's just a Chinese restaurant, right? Hello there. Hi there. What can I get you? Um, who is the man on this poster? It says you promise a reward. Oh, yes, of course. He's my brother, Shen. Please tell me you found him. Do you know where he is? Um, I'm afraid I have no idea. How long has he been missing? Already more than two weeks. I am afraid for him. He never disappeared like this before. Okay. Only... There was one thing. He met a girl recently. Actually, she's... More of a woman. I see. Lily. He changed. I thought nothing of it, but... Oh, uh, I, I see, yeah. The, the allure of the MILF, as it would be. A new style, clothes in front of mirror acting like tough guy in front of customer <laughs> where can I find this Lily I only saw her two times she came home with Shen for dinner always sitting on a secret like her life was being lived by another I didn't trust her not at all I uh, asked the famous women's intuition eh 
Charlene, I think. I heard Lily talk to her. Charlene has job in Chinese Quarter, downtown. Convenient. I don't know what, but if you can find her, maybe she'll know where to find Shen. Or at least Lily. Sure. Thank you so much. I light a candle for Shen every night. I mean, he's probably having the best sex in his life right now. So he probably shouldn't worry too much. Or light candles. Even the scented ones. Um, okay. So that was a thing. I assume this Charlene will have like an exclamation point above her head probably. Uh, I, I, I'm just guessing. I hope it wasn't the one I just passed in the, <laughs> in the back alley there. This is Hank. And... Yeah, can I keep going this way? No. No, I cannot. So where the hell is this other guy at that I'm supposed to talk to? Go up here, I guess? Ah, downtown. Okay. Onwards to downtown, I suppose. And the general store. Uh, oh, I guess I can get that guy his pills in the general store, maybe. Hello there. Hi there. Feel free to browse. What you see is what I've got. All right. Uh, do you have pills? T-shirts. Uh, I guess I. I only have 179 bucks though. Stimulant pills. Yeah, I could use those, but not for me. Uh, stimulant dose. Some wines. Condoms. Twenty dollars for a condom. It's just one condom too, probably. Uh, Andrew Cola. Missing person poster. Right. T-shirts. Antidepressants. Is that what it was? Is that what he needed? Um. Hang on a second. Let's see if that's what he needed for the quest. Uh, chill pills. Antidepressants. Yep, that's exactly what he needs. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, don't talk to me. I want some antidepressants, please. Take at least one, anyway. And anything else around here? You, you talk to me? No, you don't talk to me? All right. Yep, here you go. Oh, thank you, lady. Thank you. 200 experience, huh? Again later, when they're quiet. Uh, I'll introduce you to my advancements. Ah, I see. He's probably, he's a black market, uh, augmentation dealer, I bet. I bet. Alright, so we will head back to where we were, the Chinese Quarter. And then go back downtown and hopefully we'll find this this Chen guy I guess is there anything else on my on my journal here uh, not journal quest log get augmented Starcross lovers uh, missing friend Charlene might she hangs around the char Chinese quarter so she hangs around the Chinese quarter here but I do not see anybody you know, with some kind of thing above their heads. So I guess I guess it's more of a you gotta wait around for a certain amount of time to find them, maybe? I don't know. Let's go downtown. See if we can find this other guy. So we've got the general store there. We've got kebab for some for some nice food, I suppose. I didn't know that. I didn't know blue hair was a symbol of nobility. A <laughs> heavy dash of leave me alone. Uh, unfortunately, this guy's voiceover is much lower than all the, the music and everything else. Uh, here for fast food. Here I humbly strive for the standards of my father. This is a traditional preparation. Blah, 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 blah. You can barely hear it, so I can barely hear it, so let's see what we've got. Yes. 
Ah, 40 hit yes. points. Excellent. So, do you like it? Um, she likes it. Here's the menu. Uh, sure. Look at the menu. What do we got here? Kebab and some synth beer and some wine. All right, I'll take a I'll take a kebab. Why not? I don't have a whole lot of money, but might as well carry it around with me. I'm sure it won't go bad ever. <laughs> oh, everyday guns. Is this the cheaper cheaper version of of Hank's area? Old lockpick. Ooh. Anybody gonna stop me from lockpicking this? So we're gonna go in here. What is this? Um, enough from Charlene to Speedy. Oh, here's Charlene's thing. Damn it, Speedy, will you stop sending me flowers? Look, you're sweet, but you're 14, for Christ's sake. Get a crush on someone your own age, will you? And stop calling me Carla. That's not, that's not, that's what my mom used to call me. How do you even know that? <laughs> Charlene. Okay. So I found what looks like Charlene's apartment, I guess. Um doesn't really help me very very tiny efficiency I mean who doesn't want to have a ladder in their apartment I guess Does this buy condoms they have all condom dispensers everywhere all right so they have their their priorities straight uh, economic sleeping capsules hmm. oh Nightingale oh I see where we're at we're in the, the red light district excellent all right, well, I think from this point, uh, we will pick it up in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.